Uh, back to the U.S. grand jury decision expected on the Ferguson shooting. Vincent Warren is the executive director for the Center for Constitutional Rights. He joins us now uh, from New York. First of all, um, w what are you expecting the, 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 this grand jury uh, to, uh, to, to return once this decision comes down? Well, we all want to live in a society where people are not killed or criminalized based on the color of their skin. But the problem that we have in Ferguson right now is that a police officer may or may not be charged for what most people believe is a wanton killing of an African-American man who was unarmed. So the grand jury has to make this determination as to whether to put this police officer on trial. And frankly, it requires the grand jury and, fr and all of us to be able to conceptualize of a police officer committing a crime while on duty. These are big stakes for the people of Ferguson. Indeed, and um, I also I also want to add sure, that yeah. I also I also want to add um, that this is an opportunity for the grand jury and I, and the, the nation to really come to grips with the question of how we police African American people in this country, and the grand jury has the primary uh, responsibility to be able to set the tone for the nation here. There is a lot of skepticism, though, among activists uh, there about um, uh, this decision, that, uh, that they fear that uh, uh, the police officer uh, won't be indicted. Um, if that does happen, then, then where do things go from here? And are you fearful that there could be more violence as a response to that? I'm skeptical as well, frankly. Um, although this is a perfect opportunity to shift the narrative and to take a different course, I'm not convinced uh, that this grand jury will uh, put this police officer on trial. And I think that would be a terrible tragedy uh, for the nation and particularly for the people in Ferguson. I spend a couple of, uh, been to Ferguson twice, I've talked with the organizers that are down there, and people are very frustrated. That they're frustrated because they've been criminalized. This case is a symbol of how black people around the country, but particularly in Ferguson, have been criminalized. And if there is not an indictment, or even if there is one, I think that there are going to be protests. But certainly if there's not an indictment, uh, people will become very angry. I do want to point out, though, that Martin Luther King said uh, that riot is the language of the unheard. These are people that have, trying to, have been trying to be heard for a very long time. And there should be unrest. I want to be clear. There should be unrest. They should shift the, the, the dialogue here. But violence is a very different issue. I think the biggest threat to the freedom of speech of the protesters at this moment is what the Ferguson Police Department is going to do. Good to get your perspective on this. Uh, Vincent Warren from the uh, Center for Constitutional Rights. Thank you.